Hey everyone, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on using the finger as an FX insert in Machine and I'll show how we can use it to glitch out some drum loops. For those of you who don't know, the finger is a reactor ensemble designed by Tim Exile and it's a little more complicated than most FX, so we'll need to do some special routing to get it to work, but don't worry, it's all pretty simple. If you all like this tutorial, please check out our website at machineskills.com, where we're coming out with several machine tutorials every week. All right, so let's get started. Since the finger is an FX unit, we're going to need to give it some sound to play with, so I'm just going to load up one of the default kits in Machine and test it out. Okay, so typically if we wanted to have an FX unit affect this entire drum kit, we could just drop it into the FX channel for the group, which I think makes a little more sense visually in the mixer page. And whenever there's a kit open in the mix view, on the right hand side here we have access to a master channel for that kit. However, placing an instance of the finger in this channel will be pretty much useless because the finger only works when it's receiving incoming MIDI data and there's no way, as far as I can tell, to route MIDI data to the master channel for a kit. So what we're going to need to do is route the data from this entire kit into another group. So I'll create a group B. And you want to make sure that you're going to select the sound option from the top tabs here. If you select the master selection, anything we add will get added to the master channel for the entire song. If you check the group option, then we'll end up adding uh, the finger to the master channel for this group, which, as I just explained, is undesirable. So we want to load it into its own sound slot. So make sure you select an FX copy of Reactor. And from the player browser, we can load up a copy of the finger. And I'm just going to rename this slot finger so we know which one it is. And once we have that added, we can go back to our first group. And I'm going to select the group and we're going to go to the inputs and outputs for this group and select the outputs and we're going to change the audio out from going to the master to going to our new instance of the finger okay so now when we select our instance of the finger in its group it's going to become the active receiver for incoming MIDI data. So we can select a snapshot and play our sounds and start smashing on some pads. All right, and the one thing I forgot to mention is we want to have our slot that the finger is loaded in set to keyboard mode so that it can receive more than one MIDI note at a time. All right, so one cool aspect of this setup is we can actually have as many sounds as we want being routed to the finger at once. So I'm just going to 
load up a new group and route the whole thing also into the finger. Okay, so that's how to set up the finger inside machine. If you're like me and you have terrible timing and just aren't any good at finger drumming, you might want to pre-program your own loops to use with the finger. And this is really simple. We can program these loops the same way we would for any instrument inside machine. So just double click on the scene that you want to add the loop to and we'll get our pattern and inside the keyboard view of our sound we can simply program in a bunch of different MIDI notes. And the finger comes with a bunch of great presets. If you want to make your own, you can load up the view. And for every MIDI note, you can select a effect from this menu here. And you have a few various knobs to play around with. And it'll give you access to the entire 128 MIDI notes. So you can set up just a bunch of different effects and trigger them at will. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please check out our website at machineskills.com and give us a subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really would appreciate it. All right, have a good week.